Hi buddies, welcome back. Today I want to show you the new Galaxy AO5S and this is what it looks like from the front. Obviously just a black screen and then this is what it looks like from the back. We're gonna go ahead, uh, turn it on and set it up together. We will go through the first steps until we come to our home screen. And the first thing we're gonna do, press and hold the power on button here on the side to turn the phone on and to get started. So we could greet it here and we can select our language. Um, we have a few ones to choose from. We're gonna stick with English and we say okay and then we can make emergency calls and go to accessibility to like make our text bigger and stuff we will go ahead and click on start now it first says to insert a sim card we have a separate review for that so we're gonna skip that part right now for your review and user license agreement this includes your agreement that samsung may update your phone software automatically from time to time to ensure the safety security and functionality of your phone sure privacy policy sending of diagnostic data this is optional so you don't have to tick the box um, but you can also say to agree to all if you want to so these two need to be chosen otherwise you can't continue so we say agree now set up using another device to copy settings accounts and more from another phone or tablet keep it nearby and unlocked uh, we don't have another device we want to copy apps and data from so we skip that part but if you want to set up phone using another device you can totally go ahead say ipad iphone um, or galaxy or android device we're gonna skip then we can choose a Wi-Fi network. We want to do that so we can like download apps and stuff. So I'm going to connect to my network now. So we're connected now and then we'll come to the next slide. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts and more. If you want to do that, you can click on next now and then the phone will guide you through the next steps. But we say we don't want to copy anything. And now we can sign into our Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you can create an account here. I'm going to sign into my Google account now. Now we come, um, we publish the Google Terms of Service so that you know what to expect as you use our services. By clicking I agree, you agree to these terms. You are also agreeing to the Google Play Terms of Service to enable discovery and management of apps. And remember, the Google Privacy Policy describes how Google handles information generated as you use Google services. You can always visit your Google account to make a privacy checkup or to adjust your privacy control. Now you can say don't add this account now or I agree. You pretty much don't have any other option than to say I agree. Google services, tap to find out more about each service, such as how to turn it on or off later. Data will be used according to Google's privacy policy. So you can click here to read more information and then you can check these boxes here to either enable or disable that. Here with the location, when you turn off use location, the allow scanning will be turned off automatically with it. This can only be turned on and off manually if you have the use location on. And then we also have send usage and diagnostic data, device maintenance. So that's all up to you if you want to have that on or off, but you can also turn that on or off later again. So we say accept now. And now we can set up a screen lock, prevent others from using this phone without permission by activating device protection features. So face recognition, fingerprints, pin, password pattern. Um, we have a separate video for that as well. So we say skip, skip protecting your phone. You won't be able to prevent others from using this phone if it's lost or stolen. Sure, skip anyway. Now we come to this, access your assistant with Hey Google. Um, we will skip this part right now and now it's getting our phone ready get recommended apps apps will be downloaded when you're connected to wi-fi so we can click on this and then say okay so i guess we'll have to download these anyway or they will be downloaded we say next samsung account all right so we will skip this part right now but you can totally go ahead and sign into that 
and now we can choose our display preference the dark mode or the light mode i will stay with the light mode now say next we're all set up finish we're not finished discover and install great apps press continue to discover great apps for your device all apps are free so we can say later which is gray up here in the corner and then we can also say continue we will say later exit app setup yes which is also gray which is a bit confusing because it seems like you can't press yes um, but you can indeed so now we're on our home screen and we can now go ahead to set up our iPhone further customize it a bit more and um, like do things like put in our sim card but that was the initial setup of the samsung galaxy io 5s hope you liked it hope it helped if so thumbs up share and subscribe and i hope to see you next time bye